Hey y'all, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, do me a solid. Help me feed my two little beautiful babies. I'm a single mom. Hit the like button on this video. Subscribe to my little channel and hit the notification bell so you do not miss me when I go live because it's always totally random and unplanned. Um, if you watched my last live, you will already know what this reading is about. If you did not, I'm about to explain it to you. <laughs> if you would like a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I am running a whole bunch of specials for Virgo season because, you know, healing. All right, so we're doing triggering Mercury retrograde readings today. Um, I didn't know they were going to be triggering until the live the other night. If you are a Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Sagittarius, or Taurus, I did your signs live. I have edited them down for you guys, all right? And took out all the super chatting and things that we were doing for clarity. And I will be posting those individually for you. If you are a Aries, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Capricorn, or Pisces, I am doing your readings today. Hopefully they won't be as triggering as the ones from the other night were, but we don't know. It's Mercury retrograde and September astrology is rough, all right? So with that being said, let's get started. I'm using the Santa Muerte Tarot. Mercury retrograde is when people like to pop back up from the dead. <laughs> I feel like this um, deck is great for resurrecting old energies. And that is what always happens during Mercury retrograde. It's either old memories, old feelings, old people, old conversations. It's revisiting, it's rewinding things that you communicate with about it rules the internet. Like weird things could be popping up in your Facebook memories and things like that that are really triggering. Be aware of that. Mercury rules all forms of communication, including writing, reading, internet, advertising, and also lower learning. I don't want to say lower because it's not lower, but yeah, whatever. Um, Sag is the higher learning. Gemini is like, Gemini is like, you know, kindergarten through 12th grade when you graduate. Sag is like college and doctorate and stuff, you know. Anyways. All right, Le Aries, Aries, I almost said Leo. I've been feeling, I've been, all my reads lately have been having so much fire energy in them. Probably because the moon was in Sag just now. Anyways, what is going on for Aries during their Mercury retrograde? And we're looking at past, present, and future energies. What might be coming back from the past or what happened in the past? And then what's going on currently? and then what the likely outcome is. All right, one more for Aries. Y'all, I was married to an Aries for like a long ass time. He was Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Page of Pentacles. I read art if you've not been here before, all right? This is not, you know, I don't just tell you. Oh, someone wants to have a communication. You do, all right? This though, you know, she's putting this in thing in her pocket. It's probably that stupid song, what is that? Got a secret, can I keep it? Um, something about, but one of them is dead. But two can't keep a secret unless one of them is dead. There's a secret in the middle of everything. Somebody's put it away. Somebody is not, you know, talking about it. Somebody's also being really, you know, miserly with their money and with their communication. Pentacles are things that happen in real life. And, you know, it's exchanging of money. It's exchanging of words. It's tangible items, things that you can immediately process not thoughts not feels um in the recent past this is somebody choosing to like put something away or be stingy or not you know withhold not i want to say they don't want to communicate something in the past here and look baby aj ate the corner of that card the monster next card we have seven of swords in reverse interesting and then we have five of cups this is a big regret somebody here in the past aries they there's a lot of regret their head is spinning like they cannot stop thinking about this what they can't stop thinking about is either how they didn't tell the truth about something or how they were manipulative or how they feel like they were manipulative it's almost like somebody caught somebody lying cheating stealing and just walked away before you know without an explanation 
there's a lot of abandonment in the past here. There's a lot of withholding. There's a lot of, you know, lack of communication. There's a lot of manipulation. Somebody in the recent past, all right, I feel like a lot was withheld communication wise with, regarding whatever this was. There was a lot of distrust between the two of you. Somebody chose to pull away from this because they didn't trust it, all right? They didn't trust it and they wanted to, you know, process what was going on here to see if this was true or false. Somebody didn't trust an offer here or they thought that somebody was a liar or a manipulator. That's their issues, all right? Their inability to open up, whatever this is going on, take it as it resonates, you or somebody around you. That's someone else's inability to open up, to not be transparent, to choose to like keep energy to themselves because if they release it they're just gonna you know feel these feels five of cups is an ugly energy seven of swords is my least favorite energy in the tarot this is mental self-sabotage this is somebody doing something to themselves making themselves their own worst enemy cue the lit song <laughs> wow judgment upright in the current situation ancestors big six of pentacles it's in due time just got that Outcast. Is that Outcast or CeeLo? Three of Cups in the reverse. Your ancestors are trying to figure out whether or not they want you to come into this reunion here. Also, I don't feel like you're doing anything right now to really come back into contact with whatever this energy is. I don't feel like you're putting forth any effort whatsoever to make this reunion happen. I feel like you're leaving it up to fate, a lot of you. All right. A lot of you are leaving it up to fate. You're just waiting to see what happens. I want to warn you because I, you know, I read the current energy. The current energy, you're in judgment, all right? You're sitting in judgment. That means you're being judged by your guides. When you're being judged, hey, I'm a licensed attorney. I know what it's like being judged. When you're being judged, you need to be, you know, sure that you are being very clear about your point. You need to be very honest about what it is that you're doing. You need to be on the up and up when you're on judgment because right after the judgment comes the world card. Something ends and a new cycle begins. You know almost that you're in judgment right now and you are sitting here not contributing to bringing in anything, anything. I see a lack of effort on your part or somebody else's part. You're basically saying time will tell. It's got that Bob Marley song, Time Will Tell. Look that up. Ooh, Knight of Wands. Here we go. There's your fire energy with the Queen of Pentacles. Holy shite. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's chasing somebody. I just got to catch me if you can. All right. I don't know whose energy is whose. I read the room. The situation that's happening here. Somebody gets very excited about chasing somebody and wanting to nail down a commitment with somebody. The Knight of Wands, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, all right, is got her back to it. She doesn't see it coming. She's not paying attention to it. And you would hear the Knight of Wands coming, all right? He's the noisiest knight. <laughs> He's the one that makes, you know, the big show of everything, riding in like a Leo, like, you know, fire energy on his fire pony. You would, you would notice the Knight of Wands. She does not. She's climbing a ladder upwards. This, all right, there's two people here. There's somebody very reckless and very, you know, in knowing what they want, but they're fueled by fire energy. And then there's a feminine energy here that is like focused on rising herself up, focusing on elevating herself and turning her back to things that are blatantly obvious. You see the energies? The other card with this is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse not committing to this not you know we are not going to commit we are not going to this energy is unstable knight of wands is an unstable energy it's a volatile energy queen of pentacles is one of if not the most stable her and the king most stable energies in the tarot these are opposing energies this is somebody i feel like you're being told in the near future do not commit to anything unless you know it will bring you stability we're not this is not the time to be taking risks at the bottom of everything, you got the Two of Pentacles. I do feel like you're going to come face to face with somebody or some emotion or something from the past that is going to trigger you in a very big way. Your options, I feel like, all right, because I don't feel like it's decided on which one you're going to pick here. I don't know why I'm feeling that with this. I'm intuitive. I feel what I feel. 
I feel like it's not decided whether what you're going to commit to here between these two energies. I feel like that's what's going on here. They're telling me there's it's not decided yet with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's not decided whether or not when these energies come around because you are sitting in judgment. So something is going to come and try you literally like a court. Your options when this comes up to try you in the current situation or in the very near future are to get in the Knight of Wands energy and immediately, you know, proceed based on ego and you know selfishness or are you going to be in the queen of pentacles energy where you focus on your stability you keep it to yourself queens are internal energies the queens don't ever show what's going on inside or are you going to be this knight of wands who runs around reckless that's your decision and i i clear oh my god double that's crazy and there's that eight of cups in reverse there underneath the deck here Two pentacles upright and the lovers upright. Those are two cards about having two options, two choices, all right? Two of pentacles shows me that there are things that are gonna feel very out of your control coming. Two of pentacles energy is dicey, all right? It's not easy to have multiple balls in the air at one time and having to juggle them, it's not easy. And then you have the lovers, which is about making a major life decision. This is a major life decision because it's literally your judgment. It's the verdict, it's what's happening here, okay? Um, a lot of y'all, this is reads very legal, all right? I don't usually call things out as legal readings, but if you are going through a legal situation, this might apply to you extra, okay? Um, I want to clarify these. Well, I want to clarify these with the Italian tarot, the Botticelli tarot. Shout out to my Italian ancestors on that side. It's my ancestor wall behind me. These are all actually my relatives. <laughs> I've got pictures of people up to my like I want to say my third third great grandmother which is insane those pictures are so old I, it reminds me of the um, Harry Potter wall in um what is it Gr Grimmauld Place Sirius Black's house I forget what the name of it was yeah the Black Family Tree it reminds me of a more modern version of that. Even though I would rather have a spooky one. All right, let's clarify these for Aries. Why is this um page of pentacles here? Eight of cups in reverse. That eight of cups in reverse comes right after the lovers here. This is a repeat performance of whatever this is. Yeah, that eight of cups in reverse. I need to take a better look at the bottom of this with the seven of cups in reverse. The tower in reverse. Yeah, two of wands in reverse. Whatever this situation was in the past, you got, and there's the empress. All right. Um, whatever the situation was in the past, look at the art. Okay. It was a standoff. All right. This is two of wands, not wanting to know whether or not you want to put forth effort in this situation. Wand energy is effort. It's your desire to want to do something. It's fuel. All right. And you were not convinced that somebody was not convinced in the past. All right that they had the fuel to keep going on this journey with whatever this was, okay? They chose Empress to sit back and, you know, start taking care of themselves, do what they needed to do. That's good because now you're getting a judgment call because you made a good judgment call, so you got judgment upright, which means you've set yourself up for some kind of good karma. This, all right, somebody here either didn't open up about what this, you know, connection was. Let me clarify these other two. They either didn't open up about what this connection was or because... It's either they don't feel deserving of it or they felt like they deserved um, better. One or the other. It has something to do with their worth. Eight of Cups showed up two times in the reverse here. That's not understanding what you deserve in an emotional sense. The Seven of Swords is here because the Emperor in reverse. So now we have Emperor and Empress in the past coming into play here. Because I always feel like the bottom of the deck deals with the past or like the root of the issue. And then we have Temperance fell out sideways. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody stopped this, all right? Somebody stopped this. They had invested somewhat, or I don't even know if this one was invested in, to be honest with you. I feel like that Pentacle that she's putting into her purse never actually got handed over. I feel like this was more of a loose connection, like just, you know, dating or, you know, talking, whatever you call it. Like, we never solidified this. You're my girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? But um, a lot was kept in, a lot, and there was a lot of mental manipulation between the two of you trying to control, all right, no, that's the Empress. That's the Empress too, that's not the Emperor. My eyesight is so shitty right now. Um, 
the, the reason that we're in this mental manipulation is because we don't understand what we deserve. I don't feel like either one of you did. I also don't feel like either one of you believed that the other person wanted to, you know, grow something here or do something with whatever this energy is. There was a lot of dicey energy. I just get this marble spinning around in this person's head. There's too many ways that this could go wrong. There's also too many ways that this could go right. Temperance sideways means that it was like not feeling comfortable. You know, right? you didn't feel secure in whatever this was. And you don't have enough, like one of you didn't have enough, you know, love for yourself to stick around and try to find out and clear it up. You just disconnected is whatever that is. And there's like a tower in reverse. Like somebody needed to have a conversation here and make a choice about this relationship, but I don't feel like they ever did. Tower in re um, reverse, you're going to have to get into this energy again with this person and finish this. All right. The tower is when you guys actually open up and talk about your feelings with each other. That's when the tower happens is when you both actually come clean because nobody was coming clean. Page of Pentacles getting stuck back in the pocket and we're in seven of swords energy because five of cups were hurt. So they didn't, there was no clear communication here, but this, the two empresses showed up here, which means there's two people ready to, you know, give to a relationship and grow something beautiful. All right. The problem is all the emperor energy was missing. Nobody took control of the situation. So we need to fix that. All right, now we're in, um, clarify this judgment for me. Let me give these a shuffle. Why is judgment here? And I love this judgment card. It's all these ancestors. Some of y'all were meant to be with this person to bring a baby into this world. Right, weird side message. Knight of Wands in reverse. What did I say? God, my cards have been so crazy. Four of Swords. They see you sitting and waiting. They see you thinking about how this could have hurt you in the past. You were the person you're dealing with. Somebody sitting here, your ancestors are seeing you sit and ponder the pain that could have gone on instead of sleeping on the ace of swords, like realizing the truth of something good could have happened. If we just say the truth, your judgment call here, I said it, it's either to get in the knight of wands energy or the queen of pentacles energy. They have knight of wands in reverse here. That's the bad judgment call. This card is reversed on top of judgment. That's what you do not want to do. You do not want the Knight of Wands. The message could not be more fucking clear. It could not be. <laughs> Aries, your guides yell at you. Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse here? Your guides scream shit at you. Knight of Pentacles. God, more night telling you exactly how to move. Aries, they're like spelling it out for you. All right in the most infantile way, all right? If you do not get this message, you're ridiculous. The Two of Swords in the tarot is about not understanding which option you have to take or feeling like you don't have any good options. You have the Two of Swords in reverse and look, it's like your fucking guides are tackling you. Like you better choose this fucking way when this Two of Pentacles energy comes around to confuse things. They're saying Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You don't have anything to give to this on an equal, if like, if nothing is giving on an equal basis, all right, then we do not follow it. We do not enter into anything. Also, if you choose to enter into this energy with whatever this is and communicate with whatever this is, and you plan on it lasting for the long haul, you have to give up as much as they are giving up. I feel like no more, no less, but you also need to, you know, give to yourself is what I'm feeling with this. I feel like this is a battle in your head between like air and water, which is awful for a relationship context. You have to give as much credibility and as much, you know, curiosity is what I feel like because you're not asking some, there's a lot of questions that people aren't asking here that need to be asked. You need to give as much, you know, care to your emotions as you do about, you know, thinking this out. You read like a Gemini in this. Why is this three of cups in the reverse here? Also clear message. You don't go after this. This comes to you. You're not, I, the six of pentacles in reverse is like, you don't have anything to give or you're not, you know, putting forth any effort here. Falling on that is the knight of pentacles because something's coming to you. You sitting in wait and you sitting stagnant right now is bringing you some kind of an offer or some kind of a conversation because there's that pentacle someone put away in the past. And now look, he's holding on to it and driving, you know, up to you, showing it. Somebody does want to show their emotions. They're telling you the way to equally give to this and, you know, create a good mix here, all right, is to open up and be honest, be open and upfront. Another fucking night, the night of cup, this, God, <clears throat> this is crazy. You guys are definitely having movement this month. 
blackberries, a lot of it. I hope my coffee is still hot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You are sitting, all right? I've seen the Four of Swords for you. Now I see the Eight of Swords. You've had three knights show up in the current situation showing it's either your turn to move or their turn to move. Currently, I don't feel like you are moving. They're giving you suggestions on what to do, all right? If, they're telling me why you're sitting, if that helps, all right? Why you're sitting here, you do not, it, these all fell out sideways. I read sideways, all right? I do. This is what's up in the air about this Three of Cups. I feel like you are torn. One day you're like knight in reverse, one day you're knight upright, and then one day you want to go, one day you do not want to go. You want the reunion, you don't want the reunion. You feel like someone else is not gonna give to you. You feel like you don't have anything to give. You need to make a decision. Judgment is making a decision. It's rendering a verdict. You, you're ignore, like, it's not, I don't, I don't wanna say you're ignoring your intuition. You're on the fence, all right? And they're telling you like, stop beating yourself up about this and make a choice. You're on the fence. You don't know if your intuition is correct. You don't know if the feelings are returned here with the King of Cups or if they will be returned. You don't know Knight of Cups if you should make a romantic advance or if you should like spill your emotions out. So Eight of Swords, we're just sitting here. And the Eight of Swords, though, is a prison of your own making. You're doing this to yourself. You're overthinking it. A lot of you have air moons, like a moon in Gemini is what I feel here, or a moon in Libra, big, or a moon in Aqua, Jesus. Um, you're going to be forced to move in this situation coming up, I feel like. You can't sit still any longer. You have to take action with whatever this is. You have to take action. All of the knights have come out in this reading, except the knight of swords, the one that has the clarity and knows the plan and how to move forward. You guys either have a ton of sword energy in your chart or absolutely none. There's not a good balance. You either have no decision-making prowess or you, you have way too many analytical aspects in your chart. Hit me up if you want any intuitive birth chart reading. All right, let's clarify the future here. The Knight of Wands, why is that here? You wanted to come out. I'm not putting you back. And you wanted to go that way. Oh, there's two of you. There's that damn two of swords again. What did I tell you? You're forced to move. Knight of Cups. God, they're telling you you can either run like like in screaming like the Knight of you know Wands or Knight of Cups. You can come emotionally correct. Those are your two options. This is I don't even know why I'm clarifying these at this point. More knights. I've never seen so many knights in a reading in my life. Somebody go back and count them and let me know in the comments how many knights showed up for this reading. Is that one in the bottom? I swear it was. Oh, three of Wands. Might as well be the same thing. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Something's getting away, too. I need to, like, let somebody know that. Devil in reverse. Yeah. Something's getting away. Seven of Wands in reverse. If somebody can't drop their ego, their pride, their fear, all right, their, you know, toxic connection, whatever this shit is, something's getting away. Something is escaping. Somebody needs to drop their guard. Seven of Wands in reverse. They need to stop being so defensive. They need to open up. They need to deal with their demons, all right? There is a path up and out to whatever this is. And someone's like not making good choices to take that path because they haven't dealt with their demons. All right, why is the um, Ten of Pentacles here in the reverse? I just feel like it's because the choice hasn't been made yet because you keep sitting on the fence here or your person keeps sitting on the fence, whatever this shit is. It's like when you get the magic eight ball and it's like, reply hazy, try again later. It's like that energy. <laughs> King of Swords in reverse. That's why. What did I say? You had to like, know the Knight of Swords hasn't delivered the message to the King of Swords. You have to tell him what to do. Two of Swords in reverse. I can't make this ish up. And the Queen of Wands in reverse because you're not sure about what you want or they aren't. I have never seen such indecisive energy in my entire life. This reading frustrates the ever-living shit out of me. Oh my God, my Scorpio moon just wants to death this thing and like set it on fire. You guys are gonna be forced to move, both of you. 
figure it out what you want and how to go get it. There's a need for honesty. There's a need for clarity. There's a need for people to start, you know, stop hiding everything. Like, my God. This is like two little teenagers, like, that have never been in a relationship and they're like scared to talk about feels, you know? It's just like, come on. I'm a, oh my God, the moon was under that. I didn't even see it. What did I say? Confusion, illusion, darkness. Tons of emotions. There's an air sign involved in this reading, for sure. Either your person is an air sign or you have heavy air in your chart. This reading was insane, Aries. Insane. Literally. All right. 